what's up y'all um i don't know how many of you caught uh my last video but it, it, it wasn't working right so i took it down um this one's kind of related um but it, it, it's also about race and politics um so this, you know I, i'm assuming if you're watching this you you all heard about or seen the, the shirley sherrod thing um just want to talk quickly about the racial attitudes that, that are on both sides or response to racial issues from both sides um, so um, I, I really I made a video before called Angry White Americans and I, I did say I pulled a number out of my ass and I'm, I'm still going to because I haven't seen the study and I don't know if really um, when one will be done that's that's uh, that's that's reliable but there is a good segment of the population and you can tell by the huge audience that people like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Mark Levin, Glenn Beck have that this is not just a tiny 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 percentage it is a decent percentage whatever it may be it's not near a majority it's not near a plurality but it is a decent percentage, a big enough percentage of just people who are scared for racial reasons and they don't want to be overtly racist I think nobody wants to be overtly racist anymore, I think we all universally for the most part accept that that is, is a bad thing that that's a bad way to be to say I hate niggers or I hate chinks or I hate spicks or I hate craggers all those kind of things we don't like that anymore N not even the people that are racist like that anymore. Um, but these these people that are scared for racial reasons don't don't realize how they are being racist and how race is playing into this. But they are. And let me explain real quick. The racial um, the subtext of basically everything that Fox News says, everything Glenn Beck says, everything that um, Sean Hannity says is. Oh my God! There's there's a radical leftist, socialist, communist, fascist, possibly wants to become a dictator that's going to take your money, redistribute it, possibly kill you. Okay, that's that is what they say. If you don't agree, that's what they say. Don't don't like you don't watch the damn shows. All right, that is the subtext of what they've been saying for a year and going on two years. Okay. Now, he's none of those things politically. None of those things. Like I said, he's way closer to a conservative person that, that is calling him these horrible, like, leftist socialists. He's way closer to that conservative person than he is to, a, 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 like, a true liberal like me. I, I'm way far away from Barack on almost every issue. It, the reason that it works is because he's black. They can't come out and say it. They can't come out and say this black guy is trying to take your money and, and redistribute it to black people. But that is what they are getting at. And when you hear their callers, it is what their callers are getting at. They have a good percentage of America quite fearful and quite riled up. And it is because of this racial subtext. Um... I, I, I'm not going to do as good a job of pointing out how racist Rush Limbaugh is, so, like, if you want to check out the, um, which way is it? <laughs> that way. If you want to check out, uh, the Young Turks video that came out, like, two days ago about, um, Rush Limbaugh, it has some great racist things in there that he said. I'm sure there's thousands of them that he said. I literally have not listened to his show for more than an hour and not heard him say something stupidly ignorant and racist. Okay, so I think that's one side. There, there's race-based fear going on over there. Now on the other side, you have a different kind of fear, and that is fear of 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 being called a reverse racist. And I do not, for the life of me, understand why Barack Obama is handling this whole situation the way that he is. You would think that the first black president would have had some clue, right, as to how he was going to deal with this. You would have thought it would have occurred to him that he might have to, to play a special role in 
in regards to race that no other president has ever had to play before. Um, but I, I don't think that it has because every time the issue comes up, he, except for maybe Gates, he buckles like a belt. As soon as the Shirley Sherrod thing came out, I'm not saying Barack Obama is the one that got on the phone, but it was clearly his administrative policy with it within his circle. But something like that comes up, buckle like a belt. Distance yourself from her as soon as possible. And so what happens... <laughs> He turns out to be wrong. He rebuckles, buckles a second time, and, and, and changes his stance. Um, first of all, you, you, the fact that you didn't give this woman the benefit of the doubt enough to talk to her is, is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's not a conservative or li liberal position on this issue. I think most of us agree it's ridiculous that you, you didn't take the time to, to, to assess the situation better. Um, and, and and secondly, you're. It's it's almost like you're you're saying that they're right when it couldn't be further from the truth. This woman was a, was exemplary. She was exemplary. She was telling a story of why you should not be racist. And we turned it around and uh, 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 uh. I don't know what's up with Barack for real, like. And, and I don't even want to. I, <coughs> I don't even want to try to guess. I really don't. I have my issues with with what's going on with him in the race, but he is in the reactionary position. And I, 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 I think being aggressive is a great strategy, but I, I, I think it's heartless and abhorrent the, the 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 rhetoric being used by people on the right. Like I said, I specifically cited Limbaugh, Hannity, Beck, and Levin. And, you know, this is basically all they've been, not all they've been talking about, but, but, but a lot of what they've been talking about for the past week. This, the new Black Panther thing, they're trying to paint black people as racist. They're trying to find their scapegoat. They're trying to implement this, this whole scapegoat thing for that segment that we talked about earlier of really angry people and from like the attitudes that I can see it's working and that's it's sad if, if you hold those kind of people up on a pedestal the, the limbaugh's of the world then it, there is a good chance that you're racist and you don't know it because those people are racist and, and limbaugh is is the worst of the bunch if you find yourself on that side, if you find yourself thinking in stereotypes the way I see um, a lot of people that comment on my videos do, then you're probably racist. Just because you don't call me a nigger or a monkey, which a lot of you also do, you guys are, are it's very funny when someone would, would say things like that, call me a, 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 <laughs> a welfare check, food stamp receiving, uneducated nigger monkey, and then say they're not racist. Those people are idiots. But I've also had people, you know, that just explain to me that, or, you know, think they're trying to explain to me that black people are in bad economic streets because, purely because of socioeconomic reasons and, and, and ignore the history. You people are also racist, but in a very different way. And, and it's you guys that you, I don't think you really want to be over there with the Hannity's. And if you just would, would read, read and listen to multiple sources and see what kind of biased, race-baiting, fear-mongering you're getting, I, I, some of you, it's going to click. And, uh, I'm going to stop it here because I don't know how long this video has been running, but, but as I'll leave it with one final thought. There, race is not a real issue here. It's not. And... And like I said, they they have recently, only recently tried to make it an issue. Before that, they were going the indirect route of calling him, social, like, code words. Socialist, communist, Maoist. All of those were code words for nigger. Okay? That is not the issue here. It shouldn't be the issue for conservatives, and it should not be the issue for liberals. If conservatives are going to go crazy and point this kind of crap out... To, to, to be defensive is wrong. We have to tell them that they're wrong. And it starts with you, Mr. Obama, even though I don't think you will. Peace.